We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at Jedi Knight Revan this time uh, from the Galaxy of Heroes 2 pack that's just been released within the last month or so. Um, hasn't yet actually been released here in retail here in Australia. I managed to grab this off Amazon. Um, they had a bit of a sale on uh, this item. It was brought it down about 55 bucks, which is pretty good for us here in Australia. Um, so I thought I'd just share with you a quick overview of the box. Um, yeah, really nice display. It's a really good way to get a, get a, get two figures out like this uh, that may you know that may not sell as well on shelves individually. Jedi Knight Revan probably, um, but HK forty seven maybe more so just for the diehard Kotor fans of old. Um, but yeah, two very cool figures. Obviously, going with the Galaxy of Heroes as opposed to Knights of the Old Republic keeps it on brand for them um, in regards to you know current media. You know, it is a it is a game on a phone, um, whereas Old Republic, you know, they've, there's been a lot of talk whispering around the Knights of the Old Republic and a lot of changing changing things with the uh, development of the remake, um, which doesn't sound like it's going ahead anymore. So that's a bit of a bummer. But um, yeah, love the packaging. Love the card back here on Jedi Knight Revan. Um, after this, I will be recording the HK47, so that'll be out the day after I drop this one. So, yeah, loving, loving the card back. I, as much as I would prefer a, you know, a Kotor logo at the top there, this is fine. You know, um, one thing Hasbro's done a great job is packing the way they've packed these in. There's been a piece of uh, tissue paper between the two card backs, so you're not getting not getting that bubble scuff, um, you know, where the other bubble sort of presses up and pushes the uh, image. Um, and they're in a bit of extra cardboard inside that box too. So yeah, he is VC306. So only a handful of figures since his Darth Revan release, which you can see right there. So I'm looking forward to setting this guy up with the, uh, with the expanded universe figures. Um, so yeah, we're going to bust this one open and take a look. All right, here is Revan in all his Jedi white goodness. S such a fantastic figure, much like the Darth Revan. Um, yeah, this one's pretty much sharing all of the same parts, really. It's it's a simple, you know, quote-unquote repaint, um, save for the, uh, the soft goods of the fabric. It's a little bit more of a, a cleaner... You know, the other one, the Revan was a little bit more ripped. And this one is he's not wearing a cape. You know, he's just got the just got the lower tunic. Doesn't have a sort of white cape behind him, but that's that's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Um, yeah, he's just such a nice figure. I want to try and take that off. And that's quite nice and easy actually. I love that hood. It's just it looks so good. You can you know, you could use this for customizing with other figures and um, we've actually seen a lot of people customizing this one and the Black Series version to remove the helmet. And uh, I think a lot of people are actually using the uh, Imperial Royal Guard head from underneath. And they're sort of doing some slight customizing and giving giving Revan, you know, the he's got those sort of marks on his, on his face. Um, so people are doing a little bit of custom work to put that head on. On Revan here, which is which is really cool, and it's a nice way to just sort of differentiate um, Jedi Revan from Darth Revan. But you know, this helmet—it's I spoke about it in my Darth Revan review. Um, it's just so good to have this sort of full piece after the sort of the half helmet from the original Darth Revan, having this far far more accurate look of the. Uh, you know, the Mandalorian helmets for the time. But just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about this figure. I just, I love it. I love it a lot. Um, I'm actually going to bring in Darth Revan since he's right there. Just to do a little bit side by side. See, like I said, sharing all the same parts. Just a few different changes in soft goods. For the most part, yeah, it's all the same. A little bit warmer, a little bit more inviting. <laughs> In terms of the colour, still rocking the helmet, but um, accessory-wise, obviously the hood, which I showed you, comes off. He's got his lightsaber here, 
which is the same. Did come with Darth Revan there. She's actually a really nice sculpt, honestly. That's that's quite good for such a small small piece. It does hold that well. I think when I did my Darth Revan review, I think the only thing I sort of lamented was that perhaps the hilts, the unlit hilts, would have been a really nice addition and a way to sort of hook them onto his onto one of the hooks or on the belts. You know, a, a simple peg would would slot in one of those holes nicely, and you could you could do that. Um, but alas, they did not. But not, it's not a not something I'm gonna get too upset about. Let's get a nice close up look. This is the sort of the weathering on the on the sort of the leathers of his of his vest. Yeah, sort of it looks like sort of worn leather. The way they've sort of got that bit of shading and, and sort of a bit of a wash on the edges of the leather, whereas the sort of sort of more raised parts are nicely worn. Allowing that sort of shadow to creep through. Unfortunately it didn't sort of follow through to the back, but <laughs> you know, this this figure's not going to be facing that way on your shelf. Um, so uh, it, it's little things like that I can give a little pass mark to, you know. You know, if it saves a little bit of money in the long run, then so be it. But um, yeah, once you put that on, you can barely see it anyway. So you know that doesn't that doesn't bother me whatsoever. But just yeah, that nice contrast of the. Sort of the warm, sort of bronzy look, the leathers, and the white of the uh, of his sort of Jedi outfit. I guess it's not not necessarily traditional Jedi robes, but it's sort of more of a light side appearance as opposed to his dark, dark robes. But I just <laughs> these two figures are definitely two of the best in recent history, in my my opinion. Um, yeah, just I think Darth Revan came second, second in my top ten for twenty twenty three. So we'll go over his articulation. I'm just going to pop off that hood again. Um, so yeah, there's a double ball joint in the neck, as you can sort of see. There is a sort of a ball and socket in the helmet, and there is one in the neck as well. So you have plenty of movement. It's a little bit restricted when you've got the hood on, but you know you can sort of pose that and then pop the helmet on. You can have him sort of look into the side, um, which is fine. You know that's all right. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. Both the both the sort of vertical vertical hinge. There is a ball socket joint there in the torso. If we look up his skirt, <laughs> he does have the ball and socket thighs, swivel cut at the top of the thighs there, a hinge in the knee, which doesn't really bend back all that much, doesn't quite get that 90 degrees, and then hinge in the ankles and a rocker in the foot, so... You know, pretty much standard A-grade articulation. I don't know if there's much more you can ask for in this scale. I think that works out pretty damn well. I guess the uh, the real proof here is in the peg test. So obviously Revan was pretty good. Darth Revan was pretty good, so this isn't going to be too much different. It will stand on there nicely. The pegs fit in nice and firm. There is enough room there for him to hold. Maybe one, because <laughs> I just haven't got the stance. But yeah, it will hold on a peg, so that's it's, that's all we can ask for, really. Because some of them have been a little on the shallow side of recent years. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but... You know, you'd think they'd have a sort of a uniform drill piece... That goes into the sculpt. I don't know, but there is Jedi Knight Revan looking fantastic. I'm looking forward to having this guy on display. 
like within the next five minutes of me wrapping up this video, I'm going to put him on the shelf right next to Darth Revan. So it's just perfect counterpart. And then um, HK can slot in with them, with Bastilla, or Bastilla, however you want to say her name. <laughs> All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.